Good morning, everyone. How's everybody doing? This is Teacher Raisa at your service. Today, we'll be looking at some grammar. In grammar, we're going to be focusing on active and passive voice. What is active voice? What is passive voice? It's simple. Active. What does that tell you, active? Something that it's being done, something that is in process. It's an action kind of thing that is being, you know, going on at the present. And so active voice is just the subject doing an action or performing an action. It's a direct performance you know, by the subject, okay? Whereas um, a passive voice is the opposite. It means that the action is being done by the subject, you know, through someone or through something. So active voice is, is the actual action, okay? It's something being done directly by the subject, okay? And so on the board, as you can see here, we're talking about the active voice. Active voice is the subject, which is me, which is Paul, which is Mary, which is Kayla, which is Irene, which is, you know, we, that's the subject. And then plus the verb, what's the person doing? We know the verbs are action, you know, their actions, you know, eating, sleeping, talking, walking, dancing, teaching, cooking. Those are the verbs. And then plus the object. What is that object? A spoon, a table, a plate, a car, you know. And so it's first the subject doing directly the work, doing action. That is the verb. And then the work, which is the action, which is the object. And so we have it here, for example, you see how I did the coloring? So you would know which one is a subject here, which is the verb in the sentence, and which is the object in the sentence. Okay, and so you have Mary wrote the book. Mary is the subject. Writing, wrote, the past tense, you know, it's an irregular verb, that's why it's wrote, you know, which is the verb, to write. And then you have the book, which is the object. So that's an active, it's a direct contact, it's a direct action by the subject, or by the personality, you know, personal pronouns, he, you, they, we. And then you have the garage, which is that subject, the garage, you know, serviced Mary's car. Serviced, it's a past tense. So serviced, you know, it's the verb. I serviced, you serviced, you know, he services. So Mary's car. And then the company will, see there's a will, um, hire is, Higher is the verb, and so that's why it's in that color. You know, the company will hire new employees. New employees are the object, okay? And so, and then we have he, which is of course the subject, will write, which is the verb, and then a book, a book is an object. And so the Mary wrote the book. That's past simple, right? You know, the garage serviced Mary's car. Past simple. The company will hire new employees. That is future. He will write a book, future simple, or simple future. Okay, so this is actually examples, or these are examples of active voices. An active voice, you always have the subject at the beginning. So you need to know the personal pronouns. I, you, he, she, we, they, you know, the subject, Paul, Mary, Rita, you know, at the beginning. And then of course, you need to have the verb in the middle. The verb in the middle, it's always in the middle, and the last of it is the object. Okay, so that is an active voice. But then what about the passive voice? Remember I told you the passive voice is just a direct opposite of it? And so the passive voice, if it's the opposite, what would that be? Yes, you're going to have the object at the beginning. The verb stays, remains at the middle and the center. And then the subject comes at the end. Because I told you all that in the passive, in the passive voice, the subject the work of the subject is being performed by 
the object. Okay, and so it comes at the end, and so the subject comes at the beginning. So, and the example here, Mary wrote the book. So how would you put it in the passive voice? It's as if the passive voice is as if um, uh, you're telling a story. So in the passive voice, it becomes the book. You see, the book was. Because it's a past tense, wrote is in a past tense. So the book was written, past participle, written by, by who was it written? By Mary, the subject. So the book was written by Mary. Mary wrote the book. The garage serviced Mary's car. Do you see how I wrote my Mary's? Apostrophe S, you know. So the book, Mary's, Mary's car, and I actually um, wrote Miriam here. I should have said Mary. So I should probably change Mary to Miriam. So, um, just so we're not confused, you know. So, um, Mary's car was serviced by the garage. The garage serviced Mary's car. Mary's car, which is now the object, was serviced. Was serviced. Because you got to change the was, you know, by the garage. Then the third one is the company will future hire new employees so you have to start the passive what would that be yes new employees will will be hired by the company will be hired by the company a book he will write a book a book will be written by him because him replaces he so a book will be written by him he will write a book so with the past you know with the passive voice the object is always at the start okay it, whereas in the active the object is always at the end because i told you that in the active the subject is performing directly the action Okay, and so it starts with the subject. Whereas with the passive voice, it's the contrary. It's the contrary. And so it is, the book was written. The, you know, the book was written by Mary. Mary wrote the book. So, um, so it's a bit, it's quite simple, you know, when you look at it. So you should be able to identify, and we're gonna look at some examples later on, where you'll be able to identify which one is active and then which one is a passive voice. But please take note, okay, it is subject, verb, object, whereas with the passive, it is object, verb, subject. Okay, it's, it's quite simple. And then you have to change it vis-a-vis -vis what is the verbs are. Okay, if it's was, for singular, where, for plural, okay? And then of course, will, if it's a future kind of action, okay? And so now we're going to move here. So you can see the different tenses. Remember, we had the lesson on different tenses and I told you all that there were 12, tens 12 tenses, you know? And so these are the different tenses. And so there are different ways of writing and we're going to look at them so that you can see and help so we have the present symbol of course we know the present symbol you add just an s we have the present continuous which is an ing the action that is going on we have the past simple which is just ed for regular and then irregular verbs you have to actually learn them to figure them out we have the past continuous which is was plus ing because continuous is ing and past is was and then you have the present perfect, present perfect that you have to use has. The past perfect, it is past, so you use had, you know. And then you have future simple, which is just will. And then, of course, you also have the future that you're using going to. I am going to, I will be going to, be going to, that's a future, be going to. As future. Of course, we have models, which we'll probably look at it later. The different kinds of models will, 
could, can, would, should, um, must, you know. And then model perfect. Model perfect is just using the have or the has, you know, must it and the have. And so these are the tenses that we're going to be working at so that you'll be able to learn and get the different ways of answering, you know, changing from an active, which is this, to a passive. And do you remember what I said about active? I told you all that with the active, it is a subject, verb, object. And so you have here, you have here the subjects, see? These are the subjects, 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 and then the subjects. And then you have the verbs. The verb, 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 actually verb, 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 you know, these are the verbs. And then you have the object, the object, the object, these are the objects. Uh, not one doesn't have um, today, well, tonight, yeah, um, these are the objects. These are the objects. So now let's start. Let's start with Emma writes a letter. It's simple. S simple, present simple. Emma writes a letter. So how would you change that to passive? How would you change that to passive? Emma writes a letter. It's going to say, Sénégal, d'accord. 